Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be an organization video. I have a cupboard in my pantry that needs to be organized so badly. So I want to bring you guys along with me. It's actually the one right behind me here. And I just really wanna get it under control. So let me show you what we're working with. So this is where I keep my coffee and tea, keep some medication up there and some uh, recipe books. So these two things are pretty organized, but this is what I'm needing to organize right here. <laughs> it's such a mess. I just find that everything's kind of tossed in there. I have random tea down here, even though tea's supposed to be up there. And I just have lots of little random packages of tea. I have some workout supplements, which I don't even know how that got in here. Other supplements, which should be up there. Like I just really need to organize this space. So that is what I'm going to do. So the whole inspiration for this cleanup are these three canisters I got for my birthday from my sister. And it's not my birthday yet. It's not until November, but she couldn't help herself. And she gave these to me early. So I want to put my coffee in here. I want to put all my tea bags in this one. Maybe some of my sugar, like from the cupboard in here, even though I have a little sugar dish, which you guys probably saw in the last clip. But I'm gonna use these to organize the bottom cupboard so it's easy to grab the three things that I reach for. And um, I'm hoping that'll kind of help to corral some of the stuff, especially the tea bags. So that is the plan. Now I'm gonna get to it and clean this cupboard up once and for all. So I'm gonna start off by first taking everything out of the cupboard and then giving it a good wipe down. It's been three months since we talked. So this is all of the stuff I had in that cupboard. Crazy, it looks so funny when it's empty. Like it doesn't even look like that big of a space, but I somehow fit all of this stuff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sift through it, figure out what I'm keeping, throwing out, and how I'm gonna organize it all. Honestly, I don't really know if I like this so much for my coffee. I think I might use it to store something else maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna put the lid on it and just see how it goes, but I'm not gonna throw this out yet until I've decided if I actually like it. Now it's time for me to go ahead and put everything back into the cupboard, get rid of stuff that's garbage, and just make it all look a lot better than it did before. This is me shamefully going through my millions of tea bags that I have and I decided to just put a couple of them to the side. Actually more than a couple, probably about like 30 bags times two because I was giving one away to my mother-in-law and one away to my girlfriend but it helped me to clear my stash just a little bit. I decided to use my old sugar canister just to put some different tea bags in just to get rid of all the boxes. I hated looking at all the boxes and it looks so much more organized if most of my tea bags are in little canisters like this. I couldn't throw out all of the boxes because a few of them I wanted because I like to see like what's inside the box and all of that. But for the most part I got rid of a ton of boxes. up putting the teas I was giving away back into one of the boxes I was going to throw out. So if you're wondering why I'm taking stuff out and putting it back in boxes, that's just because these are the ones I was giving away. Your tongue somewhere, don't know what to say. Stop and run 
This is the aftermath of all the stuff I found in the cupboard that needs to either go in the garbage or this stuff's all garbage. Um, I need to take this, it's like an iron supplement. And then just like a lid from one of the containers. Some of these things that didn't work that are gonna be garbage as well. And then a random 25 cents from Canadian Tire. <laughs> all right, so it's like 20, 30 minutes later and I've had quite the time with the girls running around. But I did end up getting it done so I'm gonna show you the after now. So this is what it ended up looking like. So I just have this, this is like a little extra coffee filter thing. So I just threw that on top of there. But I have the three canisters in the back. There's my extra sugar in that, my favorite teas, and then coffee. Uh, I have my little coffee filters back there. This is just another coffee I have sitting around. It wasn't very good. Um, so I need to get rid of that. <laughs> this is my sugar thing that I, we use like for coffee basically. I have my couple of different salt and pepper shakers and then our little thing of um, toothpicks. Then up there I just have this little thing here where it is filled with teas. This is just like, I honestly have way too many teas. And I made big care packages for my mother-in-law and my girlfriend. So I'm gonna give those to them. So I got rid of some of my tea, but I still have a ton. So I just need to work my way through this and I drink it more so in the winter. So the time's coming out for that. And um, then over here, I just have the sugar in the raw. I have the Truvia, which a lot of people like when they come over. So I just like to have that on hand. I have some straws here, and then I just have my little matcha tea at the back. So that's everything for this section of my cupboard, and I absolutely love how it turned out. I love these little things. Ray Dunn stuff is so cute. My husband's gonna lose it though, because I have a bunch of Ray Dunn right here, <laughs> and he doesn't really care for it. So anyway, hopefully he likes these canisters, but I think that they look super cute. So that is how I organize my cupboard. So that's everything for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed organizing my cupboard with me. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.